This is the hard reset video for the Samsung T599N. And what we're going to do here is uh, take a look at the phone. You can see it has a pattern lock on it. If you have forgotten your pattern lock, this will allow you to reset your phone, but it will definitely remove all of the data that's stored on your phone. So what we're going to do is start with the phone powered off. We're going to use a combination of the power button, volume up button, and the home button all at the same time. What you want to do is start off by pressing the home button and the volume up button, and then you will uh, go ahead and turn the power on. So you can see I'm. At, this is a little awkward, but you have to hold those two hit the power button. Once you see the splash screen begin to appear, you can release the power, but continue holding the volume up and the home button until you see the little Android appear on the screen, which should happen any second now. And once we get to this point, you'll see a few options. What we want to do is use the volume buttons to scroll down to the factory wipe uh, data selection. And once you've highlighted that, you use the power button to select that option. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down to confirm that we do indeed want to wipe everything off of the phone. This is going to leave you with no data. Hit your power button, and I'm going to speed up the video here shortly. This process, oh, and at this point, we'll also have to reboot the phone once it's wiped the data. And what we're going to do now is be presented again with the carrier logo shortly after the model number displays with the manufacturer's information. And once you get to this uh, screen here, it's going to take about a minute and a half or so for everything to load up. So I am going to speed up the video here slightly, but you'll see once this splash screen comes off the phone, we will be back at uh, factory settings with no information stored on the phone. And at that point, you can go ahead and go through your setup as usual and get everything uh, hopefully synced if you have it backed up on your Google account. Otherwise, you're going to lose anything that was not stored onto your SD card. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Post your questions in the comment section below or visit gocellphonerepair.com forward slash forum. Thanks for watching.